Greetings all, this is The One Nerd, and I want to welcome you to a new segment on the channel called The One Nerd Plays. This is going to be a new segment where I review video games. I'm not going to become a Let's Player just yet, although there might be certain occasions where I do it, but right now this is just about video game reviews. And video game reviews that aren't, you know, deep dives or looking into the little intricacies of every little, every little thing like the, uh, the story or the characters or stuff like that. Uh, I'm drawing my main inspiration for these reviews uh, for stuff like X-Play. They're just giving you a, a little idea of what the game is like and if it's worth uh, getting or not. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, reviews of older games and newer games. I do have some plans for both. Uh, but for now, we're going to be looking into a little bit of an older game. This is Breakdown for the Xbox. <laughs> Breakdown for the Xbox, and that's the OG Xbox, is an interesting game with an interesting gimmick. While having a game entirely in first person may not seem that groundbreaking, considering how many first person shooters we have nowadays, Breakdown combines your standard first person shooting elements and incorporates first person hand to hand combat as well. You play as Derek Cole, your typical protagonist with amnesia and godlike powers. You wake up at a secret government lab in Japan, where you're being tested for some unknown reason. Good. But at least the food is good. Don't worry, we gave you a little something to help you rest. Hey, sounds good to me. I wish I could eat a burger that puts me to sleep instead of the ones I have now that just make me more and more ashamed to go outside. Before you can enjoy your food coma, the lab is invaded by an unknown force. But luckily, you're saved by a girl named Alex who seems to know you pretty well. You really don't know, do you? She frees you and you set off to escape the facility and figure out what's going on. Along the way, you'll notice this is not your typical first person shooter. This is not a game you want to run and gun in. If you do, these soldiers will be ready to punish your impatience with hot lead. What makes it worse is in the early game, ammo and health pickups are scarce. But if you stay cautious, you'll always find a soda machine to recharge at. But just as you get used to the low ammo and kind of clunky shooting mechanics, you come across these big boys. These are Talon Warriors, an alien hybrid cooked up in the facility and released with a recent invasion. <laughs> these are just the grunts, but bullets have no effect on them. And you'll find yourself getting your ass kicked by them a lot as you find ways to get around them. Luckily, you do get different moves other than punching, like backflips. But be careful, with this all being in first person, it can get a little... Yeah, that. Sooner or later, after hallucinating some cats and having your arm go all spooky scary, you get your glowy arm hand powers and get a bit of an advantage. But don't let your guard down, literally, because it's still quite a challenge. If I were a typical game journalist, I might call this the Dark Souls of first-person shooters, but I'm not, so I won't. But the game can be frustrating. It has this mechanic to pick up stuff where you have to ready your hand, then pick up the thing, look at it, and then put it away or use it, which can be frustrating when trying to get health and ammo in the middle of battle. But other than that, the game is pretty simple. Run through some halls, sometimes a desert, shoot some guys, punch some guys, jump over lasers, or at least try, read some documents, avoid this Dante looking dude, All in an effort to recover your memories, figure out what the hell is up with all this alien stuff, and save the world, I guess. While the game can be difficult, it never feels like you can't overcome and figure it out if you're patient. And with a quirky story and characters, it gives you plenty of incentive to finish. I'm happy to give Breakdown for the Xbox a solid 4 out of 5. Breakdown for the Xbox is available right now in the uh, Xbox Marketplace. Uh, it is backwards compatible with the, any version of the Xbox right now, so if you have a, an old copy, an old uh, disc copy, or can find one on eBay, uh, you can definitely play this on there, or you can purchase it digitally. I hope you've all enjoyed this uh, 
little experiment that I'm doing with uh, game reviews. Uh, if you did like it, I hope that you will uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more content, uh, as well as leave a comment if you remember playing Breakdown as a kid uh, or uh, when you were younger, uh, or if you've just recently learned about it and are playing it now and what you think of it. Until next time, I'm the One Nerd, and stay safe out there, guys. Seriously.